Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it is Friday, guys, and I'm coming on because I'm going to be making dinner now. Um, Jennifer wants quesadillas, so that's what I'm making her. Um, I'm going to make um, mushrooms of some sort. I don't know what else I'm going to have with it. I'm not really sure if I'm going to have meat or protein or something. I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to make some sort of stuffed mushroom or just maybe mushroom sauteed. I have asparagus too. Maybe I'll just make a vegetarian meal. I don't know. I might, I might just change it to a vegetarian, guys. I'm not even kidding. Alright. Alright, so um, let's get this going. Um, I have a little bit of cheese. Not much, but I think it might... Well, probably going to have to shred more. Maybe I should show you guys what I'm doing. I just made um, some pickles. I'm waiting for the other um, water to boil to add to these. Um, did I put enough dill in here? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Jenny's hungry, so I'm going to get moving on this. Let me get the quesadillas. In six weeks, guys, I won't be doing this anymore. Jenny won't be here, and it'll be just me and my son, if he's even home. It'll probably just be me on the weekdays, except for Sundays and Mondays, and my hubby's home. It's going to be a new thing for me, guys, new. Hey, it'll be okay, right? Just tell me it'll be okay. Yes, yeah, it's going to be all good. It's all going to be good. <laughs> it's all going to be good. Let's make this quesadilla. I'm not going to put chicken in it or anything. I'm just making. And, you know, I always put hers in the microwave. Um, Jenny, do you want the um, guacamole on the, the um, quesadilla or you want it um, you want it in it or you want to just dip it? Oh, you want tomato too, right? Yeah, tomato inside the block. All right. Remember? Every time Julie makes it, if you make it, it's good. Yeah, I forgot that. I tomato. forgot tomato. Let me get tomato. Oh, I did I put lemon in it yet? No. really turning me off lately. Salt. I'm put some tomatoes on this. Uh -huh. Let me 
to do something. This one's a little hard. Gonna put it on a dish because it's easiest and I don't have any um any paper dishes left. Let's put it in the microwave. better, but it's definitely lingering. It's better, just still here. It's taking a while to go away. some shrimp. I'm going to see if the shrimp is still good though because I put it in the fridge and I forgot I had it. Good guys, I don't know. I forgot to do this. I forgot to. Sometimes I really wonder about myself. Sometimes I wonder. This isn't even open. You know how, this is not even open. All right, you have to wait me a second. This isn't even open. I don't even know when this is, when the expiration date is for this. I've had it a couple of weeks. Best diffused by Ooh. Oh, oh, June, June 21st. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I'm on video, honey. That's okay. No, that's all right. Just telling you. All right, let's cut this piece. This piece. Let's cut the um. Casadia. No, 
Look at yummy. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got cheese in my tummy. Yes. That looks so yummy. Uh, Here's Jenny's dish. All right, guys, let's see if the shrimp is done. I mean, if the shrimp is good. Good, honey. Okay, if the shrimp smells fine and it's... Oh, okay, it's extra... Um, one second. The expiration date is until 2 12 25 so... And it smells perfectly fine. My back hurts, guys. My back hurts. So what I'm going to do, guys, is this. Thank you. You're welcome. For dinner. These right here, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to plant in my garden. But first, I have to, I read online, you got to put them in a cup first with water for three, two or three days and let them sit. And then you plant them in your, in dirt. So I want avocados. So let's see what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, how is this? Let me taste this. Good. She might want another one, so I'm going to leave one out. If that's the case, I'm going to have to shred some, shred some more cheese. Um, it's probably going to be the case. Let's put the pickles together. That's done. Put it in here. So I had to use those cucumbers up because they were sitting in there for a little while. So Julie brought them to me the other day. Some left over. That's all right. Okay. Thank you for dinner. Mm -hmm. okay. Welcome. So what I'm going to put in the mushrooms, I'm going to put shrimp and I'm going to put cream and mix it, make a mixture of like cream cheese with breadcrumbs. what I'm doing. All right, I used apple cider vinegar this time fully because I wanted them sour, more sour than usual. So. So 
this is a process now <laughs> because what I have to do is I have to clean the mushrooms off. My lips are chapped. I gotta get my chapstick. I also have to cook these. I think what I'm gonna do. Let's wash this pot. And then I'll use this pot just to, uh, just to steam them. Why oh, dirty the pot? As soon as the water boils, I'll throw those in. Now I gotta get the, the, the shredder because guess what? Shredding cheese. Okay, I'm gonna throw this in. Alright guys, so I'm just shredding some cheese up. It's for Jenny's quesadilla. In my best gadget in the house. Love it. I'm telling you. I love it. music done? Are they still playing music? It's music, but it's for the movie. Alright. You like it? Why is it white? It's guacamole. Because I put some sour cream in it. Shred just a little bit more cheese up. All right, you need to bring your plate in here because I can't. Yes, you have to get up. Yeah, have to get up. She has to get up, guys. How dare! I make her get up. Yeah, 
Exploded, guys. Best food, she said. Ugh. Have I told you that this is my favorite gadget in my kitchen? <laughs> I don't know if I told you that. Once in a while, it gets stuck a little bit, but that's the only, I mean, that's not even a thing, anyway. Not even a, something to be worried about. But that's the only issue. And it comes right out, it doesn't get stuck. I sold, I sold, I forgot to tell you. What? 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 Oh, you did? I told Lisa, uh, I, told, I told Miss Christine a big note. Oh, yeah, I don't think I told her. I told her for that. What'd she say? She said, she's fighting for me. Yeah. No. Awesome. Everybody's excited for you, Jen. She's telling everybody, Jenny's telling all her friends and telling all her special her people. She's the good news that she's moving on to a group home. She's very excited, guys, very excited. All right, so I'm gonna pour, it. the water's boiling now. Thank God she's excited. Thank God, because it would be worse for me if she wasn't. All right, so I'm gonna pour the shrimp in here three, for three minutes. Alexa, set the timer for three minutes. Oh, I just made a mess on the stove. Three minutes, starting now. How typical. Three minutes. How typical, Linda. I have to clean the stove anyway. Um. <gasps> Ow! Jesus! Oh my God, Linda. Yeah, I just burnt myself. What else is new? <sighs> Pay attention, will ya? Pay attention, girly. All right. It's very eventful, guys, you know that. This is one thing I love about this thing too. It's so easy to clean. This pops off very simply. This comes out very easily, look at that. Mom, it's this, it's talking. All right, good. Um. It really is very, very clean. I think people even um, have told me that they put it in their dishwasher. I think it's dishwasher safe. I don't know, I don't have a dishwasher. They're my, dishwasher is my hand, so. But I think it is. I think somebody told me they put it in their dishwasher. Yes, somebody did tell me that. So, it's dishwasher safe. Guys, I'm telling you, if you get anything in 2023, Get this thing, please, on Amazon. Shredder, please. Cheese shredder. I don't even know the name of it. I, I had the name of it. Oh, wait. Oh, it doesn't even say that's just the release and lock button. 
I don't even know what, it's, uh, what the name of it is. If you really want it, let me know, and I'll tell you. I'll look it up on my Amazon thing, because that's where I got it, Amazon. All right, I'm getting pooped now. It's late, it's quarter to seven. I'm tired already. I'm gonna take the biggest ones. Did I set the timer for three minutes? Alexa, did I set the timer? You have 20 seconds left oh. on your three minute oh. timer. I don't even remember what I did. So I'm just cleaning the mushrooms. What I do is I, um, I don't soak them in water because I think they think they get like soggy. So I just put a little wet, wet a little paper towel and then just Alexa, stop, and then just wipe off all the dirt. That's what I do. Well, I, have enough. I mean, I think so, yeah. Okay, so what does that mean? What do you want to do? Okay, so what do you want to do? I have regular chips. Well, that's all I have. What do you want to do? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Just take those chips. You can have those chips. Do you want another half? What? Do you want another half of um quesadilla? Yes. Mom. All right. Quesadilla. Okay. 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 Give me a second. I'm going to shut the shrimp off because it's three minutes. I have one quesadilla left. going up there to get the um the paper towels but there's no paper towels up there because i had them down here put this in the microwave ready in the microwave. Let me get the shrimp out before it overcooks and then I'll be really upset. to cut away. Using the knife to cut it.
Be right back. gonna make them all. I might as well just use them all. I have two packages of mushrooms, but I'm not gonna make both packages because it's only my husband and I like these. There's nobody else I likes mushrooms in my house. You know that live here. <laughs> Julie, and, Julie and Darren love mushrooms, but they don't live here anymore. So that's that. I'll never forget one time I was watching Rachel Ray. She was um, on her 30 Minute Meals. If you ever watch the Food Network 30 Minute Meals, I love her, love that show. And she would, um, when she would clean mushrooms, she would always say, ah, I don't really, if they're, if they're not really that dirty, I don't even clean them. She goes, well, that, what's a little dirt? A little dirt can't hurt you. She used to always say that. And she's right, I mean, it is a little, it's the dirt of the earth, huh? Well, I like to get most of it off. I don't like, you know, to be eating dirt, but I don't mind a little speck here and there that I don't know I, that's there, but I don't want to be eating wads of dirt. No, thank you. But yeah, she used to always say that. All right. Rid of this dirty, disgusting dirt mess. I gotta get the cream cheese out of the refrigerator. I know I have cream cheese in there. Just gotta find, just gotta locate it. Where that goes. Locating it. This we have to soften up a little bit. I should be eating my eight. <laughs> That's all right. I'm not really starving. Better? 
definitely better. <laughs> You'll be yourself in a couple of days. I'll put my plan away in the next commercial, is that okay? Mm -hmm. well, yeah. What I gotta do though? Oh, is this? Yeah. Oh no, it is not. Sure, well, later on. An ice cream cone. Yes. I didn't eat. I couldn't even a guest. <laughs> she wants an ice cream cone. I'm not surprised. Some, like some things are crazy. Life is one big crazy journey. His birthday's on a Monday. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna this out of the way. Let's get organized, really. I gotta make something with the sour cream, some fettuccine or something, because I got a big freaking thing sour cream here. I'm gonna get this set up. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is. this right here all the residual stuff from the mushrooms I'm gonna put in the, into into the mixture oh, now I remember now. Thank you for oh damn it oh, all right that ripped a little bit but ew, it's all right that's all right that's okay we're gonna eat it anyway Because what I do when I make my stuffed mushrooms at Thanksgiving, I don't always make them, but when I make them, I um, use all the the um, the stems and the in the insides, and then I make the stuffing with that with with um, breadcrumbs and, and all that. These are tiny. Some of them are tiny. But... I usually um, boil these a second, but I'm not doing that this time. I'm just going to put them in there and let them cook. Probably have to cook another 10 minutes longer. That's all right. stem right out if I can't get it out easy enough but it's good and you can make any kind of um mixture you know any kind of filling you want I mean, if I had crab I would have made crab because I really like crab meat in here um, when Billy and I go to Red Lobster we always 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 get the crab stuffed mushrooms as an appetizer they are so freaking good And um, I've actually copycatted that recipe from Red Lobster um, once a couple of years back. And I really don't think it tasted the same. It really didn't. I don't know, but maybe I did something wrong. I don't know, but it just did not taste the same. I think they, when, when you do copycat recipes too, I don't think they, all, they always tell you everything. I think that they leave a couple of things out because they don't want you to, <laughs> to do it exactly so you can't. You know what I mean? So you won't come back to their restaurant. I believe that, totally. Yeah. yeah, I think they leave out some major ingredient so it doesn't, it tastes a little bit off. So you're like, hmm, it's good, but 
definitely not the same as the original. Note to self, Linda, be careful. I'm dangerous, guys. I'm really dangerous. Sometimes I'm dangerous in the kitchen. Because I'm always going 25 miles an hour. Take a little bit of that flesh out so there's enough room. All right. Let's chop the rest of this up. I'm going to put some garlic in here. Some fresh garlic. Sometimes I put onions, but I'm not going to put onions in right now. I wanted to get some fresh parsley, guys, since I'm using. I want to use it. All right. So I'm going to put this in here. Two garlic cloves. that much in here. Hmm. Really not much to talk about. I thought I had more than that. I wonder if I have a new one in here now. I don't think I did. did. I thought that's just the one that I... It's all right. Whatever's here is what I'll use. Because 
like I say, guys, if I don't have the parsley, the fresh parsley, I do without it. And it's my food's just as good with the dried parsley or the dry herbs. But if I have it, there's no excuse not to use it. Because, you know, it costs money, number one, and it's so, so delicious. It really does make your dishes different. I'm not saying that they're, well, you know, it does make it better. It's just a different taste, you know. It's still just as good with the dry herbs. Don't get me wrong. That's what I hate to, I don't want people to think that. Oh, God. It's starting to thunder, and Cooper is definitely afraid of thunder. Jeez, that's all I need now is thunder. He hides behind the chair. Deathly afraid of it. So that's going to be fun. Trying to get the stems. Trying to get all the, the parsley out. As soon as he hears, as soon as he gets wind of the, the thunder, he's going to start freaking out. He's going to go behind the chair. And like there's no consoling him. Like he doesn't, he doesn't let you console him. He's just free. He's just afraid. if your dogs are afraid of the thunder. I, I think a lot most dogs, well, I don't say most, but I would say a lot of dogs probably are. Right, this is it. Whatever it is, guys, I'm going to put parsley on my list because I've been using it so much lately and I just really adore it. delicious too. I want to show you guys, and I don't use it that often, but I've been using it more often than usual, than usually. Usual? That's a word? <laughs> usual. Yes, Lynn, the usual is a word. Let me show you. This stuff, it's basil in the, in the little thingy. Guys, it is so good. It's very, very strong and very potent. So if you use too much, you're going you're gonna to know it. So don't use, don't go overboard. But it's so nice if you don't have fresh basil. Because basil, frankly, goes bad very quickly. I have it in my garden. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, if it's, if it, if it comes up, I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the freezer because that's the only way it lasts really long, isn't it, you know. When you put it, when you sit on your counter, it just dies really quickly. So, but I definitely love fresh basil, so, you know. All right, so we got onion, fresh parsley, um, garlic, cream cheese. I'm going to see if I'm going to add more cream cheese. I'm not sure. Um, salt, pepper. Fresh basil, kind of fresh. All right, let's see. We need garlic powder. Even though we have fresh garlic in there, guys, garlic powder and onion powder have a completely different flavor than the fresh. So you need to put that on your food, onion, because there's no onion in it. So I'm just going to put the rest of this onion in here. Uh, I want to ask you something. What time are you eating? Um, all right, I put salt and pepper in it, and that's really all I'm going to put in here. Um, let's get a spoon. And then I'm going to put some breadcrumbs in here. But the, the, um, the basil and the parsley, guys, oh my God, you can smell it. It's amazing. 
I also might put a little um, grated cheese in here. I usually put grated cheese in my in my um, mushroom stuffings. I don't know why. I just like it. So good. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Just that. Okay. Are you gonna call me? Are you gonna call me or text me? Mm. Mm. So good. Yes. Are you gonna text me? You could really taste that basil, but I think it was a little bit dropped more. I really do. I'm gonna put um, more pepper. I use both my peppers and salt. They, they did the different ones, guys. You'll notice that about me. Some dried parsley. Where do you want to be? Like, where do you want to be? Yellow. All right. Gotta have to get the. You don't have flavor. Get it. All right. Oh wait, I want to put a little bit of grated cheese in it. It just gives it. Oh, I also am going to put some shredded. Some, hello, Linda. I also put grated um, parm. You could put parm, or just you could put just parm, or you could put mozzarella, or um, American, you know, uh, cheddar, like I'm doing. That's the best part of it. Listen, listen, Linda. <laughs> oh my God! If I would have forgot the shrimp, I would have been so mad. You see, guys, how I get so sidetracked. Now I don't want these. <laughs> I don't want these to be huge. I want them to be fairly small. I really do. I don't want them to be huge pieces of shrimp. I need them to be. I cannot believe I almost forgot the shrimp. For me, one. Hey, for here. Alright, where's the one? I have lemon in on it. I thought I had a piece of lemon here, but I made it wrong. I really almost forgot it. I literally almost forgot the shrimp. I knew I had lemon. I'm just putting some salt and pepper and lemon and garlic. Because I, I like lemon flavor in my shrimp. Alright. See, guys? Put all that juice, all that lemon juice and stuff. 
want all of that. Now, if these are really good, I might buy like those big, huge um, mushrooms and make them in there one day. If this, if this comes out really good. Guys, this is so yummy. I think stem, lemon and shrimp go so good together. Mm, and that basil in there. Lemon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna olive oil these a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on the mushrooms themselves. And then I'm gonna stuff it. And I got a, I got a feeling I'm gonna have a lot of stuffing with it. Okay. Oh boy, taking this for a ride there. Okay, I'm gonna stuff it in there as much as I can. And I'll probably put some bread, a little breadcrumbs on top. Mm, overstuffed, guys. Look at that. Piece of string. I mean, not string. Um, uh, the parsley. Make it as as full as you want. Oh my God, are you serious? <sighs> Typical. Typical. I don't know if it's gonna be too much. If I put it, well, they're, they're pretty small, the other ones. Fill them as much as you want. You don't want them that full. These are good for like a little appetizer. You know, this is gonna be my dinner, but I mean, you could have it as an appetizer. Just stuff it in there. <laughs> this reminds me of my girlfriend, if she's watching, Tracy. Tracy and Elliot, I hope you're watching. I don't know, for some reason, I don't think you are. But <laughs> if you're watching, we moved to Florida like 12, 15, 13 years ago. And um, Tracy and I are, were very, are, we're childhood friends and she lived there in Florida. And anyway, so we, we used to go over her house because she was the only one I knew there. She was like family to me, she still is. Um, and we used to go to her house and I'll never forget, she used to make her kids um, um, ice cream cones. And she would always, because she wanted to save calories, she would, what she would do was, she would take the ice cream scoop and she would put a scoop of ice cream just on top of the cone and there would be no ice cream inside the cone. So all, because she wanted to save on calories, so all, so every time they would eat the cone, every time they would eat the ice cream, the cone, there would be no, there would, you know, the best part of the cone is like when you get down to the bottom and you have that, you know, that ice cream in there. No, not at, not at Tracy's house. She just put a plop of, of ice cream cone right up on top, and that's it. It was so funny. I'll never forget that. I gotta, I gotta remind her of that. That was, that was hysterical. Her kids knew though. Everybody knew. She tried to get away with it. <laughs> it's the little things, guys. The little things. Love her. She's a she's a great person, a great mom. She was just trying to save her kids from you know whatever. One of my childhood friends that I grew up with, very close family member of, 
of, of that was related to her was one of my mother's best friends in the whole world. And so me and Tracy um, became really good friends and we were like cousins, like sisters. But then of course you lose, you lose touch after years. And then when I moved, I moved down to Florida, we were close again. And now we still talk here, you know, most, we, we talk at least a couple of times, probably once a month. So yeah, got some stories from, it's always stories, you know, in your childhood. It's kind of molded with your hands too, guys. It'd probably eat this as dip. cream cheese in here is going to make this. A little bit of olive oil on top. I'm going to put these in the oven. I'm not air frying them. I'm baking them at like 375, I don't know, for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. We'll see. Mushrooms have to cook a little bit. Come on, you stupid ass thing. Yeah. All right. 350 for 15 minutes, and then we'll check it and assess it and see what the story is. And I can't keep snacking on this because I'm never going to eat mushrooms if I do that so all right let me get a container to put this in let's get cleaned up put this away this lemon is just about gone so I'll just squeeze whatever is there garbage garbage Tomato here, I gotta put the Ziploc bag. Another piece of lemon, not good. You know, done. Cream cheese, we gotta put in the Ziploc bag. Piece of cream cheese in the cheese. Let's get a bag for the tomato. Okay, tomorrow I'll have like a cheese and tomato sandwich. Mm, so good. Can't wait till the tomatoes out of the garden. Nothing like a fresh like tomato sandwich with mayo. Oh, did it have that guy's so freaking good. Mm. Who needs anything else? Tomato and mayo. Yummo. Let's put this in here. I don't know what I'll do with this. 
add to the other mushrooms. If these mushrooms come out good, I'll use this for the other mushrooms. Maybe. Like I said, it's only my husband and I. Nobody else eats mushrooms. Seriously. everything away. This away, this away, this away, this away, this away, this away. This is all free to read My lips are so chapped right now. I need to get my chapstick right now. All right, so I just took them out. They cooked about, let's say, about 17 minutes. And I think that they're done. Now, a lot of them... It oozed out a little bit, but I figured that would happen, but that's okay. That's really okay. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, my God. Let's cool a minute, and then I'm going to freaking taste it, Leo. And whatever fell out, just put right back in the mushroom. Not a big deal. Mmm. Wow. Mm. I can tell you already that this is going to be amazing. I can tell you. Great for an appetizer. Great to accompany a meal. Um, whatever. And like I said, you can put whatever kind of filling you want. All right, I'm gonna take the biggest one. So this one, mm, mm, mm. and this one looks a little gooey. Mm. Now, if you want to look all fancy, and you have some. Real parsley. I always could put some real parsley. But if you don't have real parsley, You know, I gotta do my thumbnails, guys. I really thank again for putting up with my antics, like I always say. Let's do it this way. Okay. All right, let's eat now. Enough with the thumbnail, Linda. Let's eat. All right, guys. A little squirt of lemon. Mmm. Look at that. Oh my God. 
oh my god. Look at that bite. Ready? Oh my god. Guys, I'm not even kidding. I'm speechless. And you know what else? I have to write this down. Right after I get it off with you guys, I'm gonna write all the write it down what I did because I won't remember. And this is so good. I have to remember it. Oh my God. Could you picture even doing it in like a portobello mushroom or even even the button mushrooms, uh, the white mushrooms, but the big huge ones that they, that they, uh, that they sell? It's a meal in itself. I would literally just get, uh, I love those uh, portobello mushrooms. I'm going to get the portobello mushrooms and I would make this a meal. This could be, I mean, this is going to be a meal for me right here. I'm lucky if I'm going to finish this. Oh my God, guys, I, I'm not just tooting my own horn. I'm not even kidding. It's delicious. It's delicious. But, but the, um, the, the lemon, it just like gives it a pop. It brightens it up and the fresh parsley. Oh, and that basil? Oh, mamma mia. So delicious. I'm not kidding. This is like really, really good. My husband is gonna love these. It literally tastes, I think it's like very close to red lobsters, but red lobsters is, is, is crap, but this is, has shrimp in it. Mmm. Mushroom dance. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm telling you. And I love that little pop of lemon. I'm gonna wait even before I take another bite because if I don't, I'm gonna regret it. Guys. I'm gonna write the recipe down and I'm gonna get it into the, I'm gonna put it into the, um, into the comment, I mean, into the, um, the description below. Just give me a couple of days, cause you know me, I have to write it all down, get it out and then put and write it down. So by, probably by tomorrow it'll be up. But if it's not, ask me guys, because I'm telling you, you gotta make these, these are amazing. I can't even believe how good they are. I, I just can't, they're amazing. Mm. Okay. Let me breathe. I'm crazy. But I'm having a ball. I'm having a lot of fun. And that's all that matters. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry Allen. I hope puppy's doing better. Everybody pray for Henrietta. She's um, not feeling well. She has some really serious issues and they're trying to get her stable, stable enough so she can have um, surgery. So say a prayer for her, please, Henrietta. Um, from Jerry from Cooking with Neighbors. Go check out her channel, guys. She's great. She does all kinds of baking and all kinds of cooking. Her baking is unbelievable. Whenever I have an issue, I call, Jerry, what do I do? What do I do? She's amazing, guys. Her channel is great. Go check her out. Jerry from Cooking with Neighbors. All right, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow. I so, so appreciate it. Tell your friends. Share this, share this video. Like and share and comment down below because when you comment, I love when you guys comment. I love to comment back and you guys know that. Um, 
yeah so that's it guys um thank you so much for coming into my into my home and for coming into my kitchen and creating with me i love you guys and i will see you on the next video i'm tired now i'm gonna go sit down but i think i'm gonna do these dishes first because if i sit down then i guarantee the dishes won't be done till 11 o'clock so i'm gonna finish i think my mushroom here half of it and um i was able to eat two i was able to eat two yeah i'll wait a little while so it goes down and then i can have more that's it guys again saying goodbye for the fifth time bye guys i'll see you on the next one bye